Okay, you may have noticed those flags we have hanging out in front. One of them is for the celebration of 2,600 years since the Buddha's awakening. And in one sense, that's a long time for one person's teachings to still be put into use. And it's testimony to how useful the Buddhist teachings are. They spread all over the world. And it's not because there are people out there proselytizing, it's because individuals find that they really work. So other people found they worked. You look at yourself, you see what, how they work in your own life. This is where they really get tested, because this is when they pass the test like this. That's when they, they get passed on, not because of social pressure or PR work, but simply because of something good. I was at a meeting this last weekend where I was talking with a senior monk from Bangkok, and he was very concerned about the PR of Theravada. And I kept thinking, that's the beginning of the end. I much prefer to John Sawat's attitude, which is that we're here not to get anybody else, we're here to get ourselves. That's not selfish. That means that we're not out there trying to push people in here. As he said, if other people see what we're doing is good and they want to join us, that's fine. But if you go out trying to get other people, but you end up losing yourself, then nothing is really gained. Because what you have to offer them is just, just the PR sign, just the, just the surface. But if there's nothing of any substance inside, then it's going to get thrown away eventually. But if you've got something really of subs substance inside you, then those who have eyes and ears will pick up on it. They all want some of that substance, too. So this is what's kept the Buddha's teachings alive 2,600 years now. The fact that people have found something of real value, of real substance inside them. I've been told that one of the latest fads in academic Buddhism is that Buddhism doesn't have any essence. Well, that's just to explain the fact that there's so many different forms and trying not to be passing judgment on any of them, which means that as someone said, when your mind is wide open, all your brains fall out. The Buddha himself said there is an essence to the teaching. It's the release, the release from suffering, release from all the limitations that come along with suffering. So see if you can find a taste of that essence within you, because that's where the teachings show their real worth. <laughs>